so honored to have been asked to share in this event and to be among such an august body of disciples of Jesus Christ. Have you or someone you know ever disciplined a child with two small but powerful words? Shut up. <laughs> My meditation for today is on these two words, shut up. But if you were raised like me, you were told that it's not very nice to tell someone to shut up. So if you will allow me to make just a minor adjustment, I would like to tag my message, you talk too much. <laughs> How many would agree with me that it's not very often we take time to examine words before we speak them? Amen. Many of us have had the dreaded foot and mouth disease and might find ourselves saying something like, oh no, I shouldn't have said that. Amen. But we probably never think about it in the way that Solomon records it in Proverbs 13 and 3. From the contemporary English version I'll share, keep what you know to yourself and you'll be saved. Talk too much, and you're done for. And so, I talk too much. Now I'm old school, and the very first thought that came to my mind when I came up with the title, You Talk Too Much, was a song from the 60s recorded by Joe Jones that went a little something like this. You talk too much, you worry me to death. You talk too much, you worry me to death. You know, you know, I all, all school, all school know that. <laughs> But back to the text. Back to the text. To summarize, Solomon declares in Proverbs 13.3 that we need to keep a watchful eye on our words. Words. Words are everywhere. Our life is built around words. We're always talking. We text. We tweet. We Facebook. We email. We write. We sing. We cherish them if a loved one speaks them. We read them in the Bible. We see them on signs. They scroll across our TV screens. And the list goes on and on. But many of us feel like we have to contribute to their overabundance. And sometimes we don't do a very good job of keeping our mouth shut and our ears open. Let us be mindful now of Matthew 12 and 36. But I tell you that everyone will get to give an account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. Remember, words once spoken cannot be unspoken. When we use injurious words, we might try and explain, apologize, or even beg for forgiveness, but we cannot undo the damage we've already done. The best way to keep your foot out of your mouth is to keep it shut. How many of your words just this last week were words of encouragement? How many of your words were words to build up? Are you the kind of person that other people are glad to see coming into the room? Or are you the kind of person that caused people to have a side eye or a side eye <laughs> because you talk too much? Words are important. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. They are important. After all, God created the universe with words. He spoke, and it was so. Yes. Jesus is referred to as the Word. In the beginning was the Word. Yes. And the Word was with God. Uh -huh. And the Word was God. Uh -huh. And the Word became flesh and yes. among us. Yes. But you know what? Sometimes even God wants us to shut up. Yes. Sometimes we're too quick to tell God what we think He wants to hear. Uh -huh. He gave us hope, of course, but we don't come equipped with a mute button. Uh -huh. There are times when the most loving, eloquent, humble speech is silence. Uh -huh. Sometimes God just wants us to wait on Him, yes. sit quietly, and shut up, and yes. allow Him to be in control. Yes. Just be in His presence and yes. wait for His direction. Yes. It's amazing what a calming of the heart and mind will occur in your way. We yes. know that Isaiah declares it there in the 40th chapter at verse 31. They that wait yes. upon the yes. Lord yes. shall be with their strength. So let's examine the source of words. Until recently, we didn't know about too much about the human body. But with all the major advances in medicine, doctors can see most of our vital organs. If our organs fail, we can get a transplant. But there's one member of the body that has never been transplanted. Right. 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 It never fails and it never gets tired. Right. That little muscle that resides in our mouth. Yeah. Our tongue. Yeah. Right. Some have even given it the title of the strongest muscle in the body. Yeah. How interesting it is that the strongest muscle in the body is the hardest one to tame or control. Ooh, yes. You and I know people who never let their tongues rest. They feel this urgency to just say something all the time. Perhaps it gives them a sense of involvement, a sense of importance, maybe even a sense of control. Now, talking is a good thing if it's positive. 
It's when we talk negatively that problem. All right. Yeah. 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 Many times the best thing to do is just not say anything. Yeah. And it is to say something hurtful yeah. and then regret it forever. Yeah. The tongue can be a deadly weapon. Yes, it can. Right. Yeah. The Bible mentions all kinds of tongues. A flattering, proud tongue, a lying tongue, perverted, soothing, healing, a fat-fighting tongue. It's such a small part of the body. Yet James declares it is untamable. Yes. A restless evil, yes. full of deadly poison, yes. used both to bless God yes. and That's curse true. men. Yes. Though men have tamed all kinds of wild creatures, no man can fully tame the tongue. Yeah. One minute our tongues are speaking holy things, and the next minute they are speaking unholy things. Yes, sir. How often have we heard the hymn, Oh, for a thousand tongues to yes. sing, yes. have mercy, Lord. Yes. If we had a thousand tongues, there might be 999 times more gossip criticism, and yeah. slander than there is now. Yeah. If we can't control the one tongue that we have, yeah. how on earth could we manage 999? Yeah. It's perfect, but we're responsible for what comes out of our mouths. Uh -huh. We could just stop for a minute and let our brains work first. Yeah. We wouldn't have to worry about our tongues still without our tongues. Sometimes we don't only respond too quickly, but sometimes yeah. we speak even while the other person is still talking. Yeah. We're thinking about how we're going to answer the question before the question has even been asked. Yeah. We really need to listen to what is actually being said and sometimes pray before you respond. Uh -huh. All of us undoubtedly have said the wrong thing at the wrong time. Yeah. Someone once said to me that if you keep your cool, you can't lose. But if you lose your cool, you can't win. Uh -huh. Solomon says, in essence, if you lose your cool now, you're going to pay for it for the rest of your life. Yes. You know, sometimes I, I literally just press my lips together as I pray for God to give me the right words to say and when to say it. Even if I should say anything, for calling on God first to zip our lips is far more effective than crying out to Him later after we look lot our tongues to get us in deep trouble. Mm -hmm. When we're frustrated, we blurt out words we wouldn't normally say when we're angry, we shout words we wouldn't even allow ourselves to think if we were feeling calm or rational. When someone takes advantage of us, now you know we got to let them know how we feel. So we spew out words that are negative and upsetting to people around us. We often take frustrations out on the person nearest to us. Keep in mind that this is when families are destroyed, jobs are lost, marriages end, relationships severed. The words we speak can do a serious damage. They can divide us, destroy our praise and worship, and they may have long-lasting negative consequences. But don't be discouraged. There is hope. I suggest that before you open your mouth, ask yourself, is what I'm about to say hateful, shameful, hurtful, or will it be helpful? Think before you speak. Mm -hmm. God has given us principles and examples of the power of the tongue all throughout the Bible to ensure that we put careful thought into what we say, and more importantly, how we say what we say. My prayer for all of us this day is that God will put at least a person in our hearts who sets, who you said something to that caused them pain, strife, or created distrust. Pursue that person and apologize for hurting them. Don't give, don't live in regret for the power of God can bring reconciliation. And if you acknowledge that you sometimes talk too much or talk out of turn, you might even ask a friend to hold you accountable. Say, hey, listen, I have a problem with my mouth. And if you ever hear me say anything that sounds something like a Christian should not say, please correct me. Yes. Yield yes. your tongue to God. Only he can give us the power to control the tongue yes. so we don't speak words that will wound. You should pray on this why, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable on the side. You don't have to have an opinion or comment on everything. You don't have to answer every question. You don't have to tell everything you know. You don't have to be the one who spreads the gossip and tells everyone's business or tells something to someone else about what somebody has said or confided in you. How blessed we would all be if we would learn to listen more and speak less. I said listen more and speak less. Now, my friends are here, and they all know that I will not end without giving you a poem. So here we go for the conclusion of this matter. The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. 
Why can't we all be like that old bird? Yes. Now, before I take my seat to follow my own advice, the teacher in me compels me to leave you with an assignment. My family will distribute the daily shut up reminder card. I encourage you, don't leave home without it. <laughs> and here, here are the instructions. You're getting the cards now. Before you speak, and you cannot, and you answer no to the questions that are on the card. Okay, let me just say what the questions are. Is it sincere? Is it healthy? Will it unify? Is it true? Is it unpleasant? More importantly, will it please God? If you answer no to these questions, maybe a good idea for you to shut up. <laughs>